guys, welcome back to Amanda TV. So today we are cooking okpa, eh? Usuka traditional food. We own this dish. So I will be teaching you how to make okpa from scratch. So first you get your pot, add it water, just allow it to, to get warm that you can put your hand inside. Then we will start mixing the okpa from there. So first and foremost, you prepare what you will use in making this okpa. Number one, you have red oil. You need red oil to prepare your okpa. You also need salt. You also need salt. And you will be needing pepper. You can use fresh or dry, but I'm making use of dry because this is what I have here in the house. And this is older. Many of us know this thing. This is older. So we'll be adding this older. To the ingredients. <laughs> so this is okpa, the powder. Hmm? It's plain and white. You can see it through the camera. And that's my mom. She knows how to do it very well. So this is how it goes. You add your red oil, which is palm oil. You say, you say. Make sure the oil is red. Then after you add the oil, you add water, you see? You add water to dissolve the oil and mix together. Did you see the color? The color is changing. So keep watching, guys. You can see they are almost mixing together. You can see how it looks now. Uzuza. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not here. Okay. This is Uda. Sorry, it's not Uziza. This is Uziza. Uziza. But I, I thought it's Uda. It's Uziza. Pardon me, guys. It's been long. I ate this kind of food. So now we are adding salt. See? And you mix together with water, too. You add little water. At the initial time, you add just about half cup to the oil and mix until they are totally mixed together. Then you add salt. If you add salt, you still add water and mix. Keep mixing. Then after the salt, you add your add your uziza small, very little. <laughs> then after that, you mix together. This time around, you don't need to add water because the one you add with the salt, that one is enough. So you mix together. So the only thing left now is pepper. Pepper is the next. So you add your pepper. You can use fresh pepper, you can use dry pepper. Like I told you, I have only this fresh pepper, dry pepper, because my fresh pepper is already dry, so I have to grind it before I can use it. So this is it. Keep watching, guys. Can you see that? Hello guys. So this is it. It's finally ready and we are about to tie the okba in the nylon and put it inside the pot. Meanwhile, before you do this, make sure you have your water boiling on the fire already. So that is it. So as we are tying it, we are dropping it on the pot, inside the pot in the fire. So. I hope you learned something good today. I have something to impart you today. At least you can make okba yourself without going to buy outside. The way they are tying it is going to. So do you see how small we are tying this up? So with this, it's going to done very soon. Pretty soon, under 30 minutes, it's ready. 
So stay tuned, keep watching to the end. And if you have been watching up to this time, thank you guys, I appreciate you. So we are finally done. That is the last one we are trying to scrape out of the pot and tie it and put it in the nylon. So let's watch it to the end. See, that is it. Meanwhile, if you are scraping, be careful. Your palm might be mixed with sand. So at the bottom part, be careful while you tie it. Let's see, bring your hand for him. I wanted to see your hand. That is the last one. So this is it on the fire. Do you see it? See, it's boiling. Hmm? Within 30 minutes, it will be ready. So, see you in the next 30 minutes, 30 45 minutes maximum. I will be back again. So, guys, my okba is ready. So, we have to do justice to it. This is it. Oops. Can you see it, guys? This is yummy. This black spot is loose up because we pounded it. We did not grind it with the machine. So if you have access to a machine or any blender, you can use it. Delicious. Thank you guys. See you in my next video. Okay. Bye.